to Nika Vika Art Time! And today we're going to be doing mandala art on a plain white copy mug. This is something I've already done on this mug and I'm gonna just copy on this one to show you how I done it. I want to do it on this side. I'm going to use um, these um, kind of tools yes. that you can find at home mm -hmm. for and this various kind of pattern mm -hmm. First, I'm going to start off with the, with the blue like this. Hence, I'm going to pour it into my pink palette. I'm going to paint this blue in. It has very small dots, so I'm going to use this pencil. Okay. I am using the tip of the pencil to keep the paint dots closer to the semicircle. For Uncle go to use the tip and do the layer. side I'm using the other one here. I I'm using the best like my sister. In the subsequent layers the dots will be getting a slightly bigger. is a bit more flat and more wide so that um when I use the blue it's the dot is a bit bigger. I guess I'm making this crowd because I love space. That looks so good on me. So I used for for the pink in in the small dot way. Now I'm gonna use the rubber part. In this layer, I am keeping more space apart from the dots compared to the other layers because I'm going to do some minute work at the end. on this in a year or something. I'm taking the sparkly metallic turquoise and, and I'm going to make sure to leave a bit of space between the dots. Here comes the 
tricky part. I'm going to have to make some minute rocks between these, these um, pink dots. three blue dots in the middle of these two sparkly turquoise dots. The next one is the last layer. Now I'm taking a bigger brush and I'm using green. Now I'm going to put little yellow dots around the big green dots using a toothpick. Now is the final touch. I hope you enjoyed watching me making this art. And why don't you try this at home? And remember, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the bell button. Goodbye! Bye!